Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are going to learn about uh, Dixie.js, a minimalistic wrapper for IndexDB. Now, IndexDB, in my last video, I have explained how it works with pure JavaScript, but it is a much more complex process. But uh, Dixie.js makes it much more simpler. So let's uh, start first uh, the application. Okay. Export. I'm using live server extension. Go live. Text seven. Go live. So you can see my applications runs, and if you go into the application section, you can see my bike index DB has been created. So it has the bike table. It has the name, it has the model, it has the year. Okay. Now you can go to the console and you can see all the queries that I have done. Okay. Now let's us jump to the code and see what I have done. The first thing is that I have put the uh, bulk input. So I have added some data over here. And obviously, before that, I have created the database, my index DB, and uh, DB dot version version is here. And what are the fields that would be there? The ID, the name, the model, the year. Okay, and uh, you can see I have not put in year in each and every section. Obviously, now in the uh, line number twenty, I have uh, put a single data. So I have first I have added a bulk of data now I have added a single data to it now uh, after uh, adding the data I am uh, updating the data as well using the db dot um, bytes dot update which is ID number seven and update should be the year the two zero one nine should be two zero two three so let's first go and check that if um, this is verified or not. You can see number seven is two zero two three, not two zero one nine. Now there are a lot of things that we can query. I have uh, used different types of queries to make it more uh, vibrant in the process to understand people how they can query the data over here in this section, obviously. Now here you can see where the year between 2015 and 2019 so found bikes that are so let go into this section where it has found bikes so these are all the bikes name and model number that are from 2019 to 2023 2015 to 2019 obviously now i have reversed the order of the array by name and print it in my next section bikes in the reverse order let's go and check it bikes in the reverse order okay so after that if you go into the in this section you can see you can see how this is returned in a promise in my last video i have shown you that this is not written in a promise. You have to call the DB instant. You have to call the transition. You have to call it every time. But this is so simple. You can go in one transition to each and everything. And you can go like this. Just create, update, delete everything and in a process like, uh, like then. And this is why it is a minimalistic wrapper. And it is so helpful for index.db actually. So now I have uh, in my third section, line number 30, what it says that <clears throat> the name starts with K, two array. And two array is a prefix. Two array is a prefix to everything. Now, uh, if you have done Laravel, you can, in your earlier days, then two array is very common to you. As uh, you know, two array is a prefix and you can put and the data converts into an array. Okay. So starts with K. Two array. Now, if you go and 
and each and everything is returning on the second part. So if you query on the first uh, 38 line, I am printing the data on 32 line. So uh, for the 38 line of data, so it is returning back, and I am printing over here. So <clears throat> uh, the name uh, with the two arrows. So it is uh, almost the same text I have copied down, but it has uh, the two array data with a K. So if you go, you can see the two K's data: Kawasaki and Kawasaki, Ninja Kawasaki Ninja ZX Z. 10R and ZX 115R. Okay. okay. Now, if you go uh, below this, I can now pull a single data with the key segment. Starts with K, but the key. This is the first instance. So, if you go to the K single, there is a Kawasaki. These are the two Kawasaki section. Only the keys are coming. Okay. Only the names are coming so over here. Now, if you go below this, there is a, uh, this is uh, Dixie.js 2.0 data transmission process over there. So, return db.get. So, if you wanted to get the name like Yamaha, you get it straightforward. You do not have to do anything. Name this one. So, it's equal to, as equal to. Okay. So, bike data 1 is just one okay now bike data 2 is two array now here i thought the name must be written in two of the data so i send it to two array and now byte number 2 has both of these arrays kawasaki images now if you go on to the third part the first one the bmw the first so if you search with bmw the first then only first bmw will be coming out just like laravel uh, you have used the warm system and this is much more like the warm system over here in a in a different way to represent obviously the bike uh, three data the bike name bike model you can go bike three data bike name bike model okay obviously and number four data so i want uh, the years above 280 2018 to an array so the years are above 280 so this would be coming on two array so i have again printed out the bike four data the map so all the bikes that are above 280 now i have again add a section above 218 or the year is below 219 so is 218 or 219 below it's greater than 218 less than 219 and this changes the results set obviously now uh, if you go to their documentation there's a lot of things that you can do with them and obviously there are some syntax if you use the plus plus if you use the ampersand these are going to use uh, over here with the plus plus sign and ampersand sign over here so it can make the auto increment i have used the number itself myself so i have not used the auto increment and if you or if you make the auto increment by this uh, plus plus sign you have to manage that obviously now if you go below you can see there are a lot of uh, queries that you can do obviously you can uh, obviously delete the data as well. I have not uh, used the delete. So if you delete the data number four, it will get deleted over here. And uh, there are tons of things that you can do with these APIs over in your left hand side. Exactly. So you can go to the table. You can go to the hooks. Now there is a hook where you can, after creating, you can do certain things there is a hook also with this so you can do a lot of things and this is very helpful this is very very helpful in doing a larger application as index db is very useful for the front end developers to use large amount of data or where they can process a large amount of data 
and uh, this wrapper is really handy for them obviously i would be like to sharing this code on the description uh, if you like my videos please do subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching the video.